On Tuesday, August 11, the Justice Ministry and the United Kingdom's Department for International Development, DFID, signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the continuation of the Unification of Prosecutorial Services Project in Jamaica. It is designed to help modernize Jamaica's justice sector by building the capacity of select institutions to improve accountability and transparency. The MOU, which will run until March 31, 2023, is intended to effectively root out organized crime and strengthen Jamaican's anti-corruption framework. In Jamaica, organized crime and corruption are matters that need urgent attention and it is important that we address them. So it is an open secret indeed that corruption erodes the moral fiber of our society. I believe that all well-thinking Jamaicans will agree with that remark. I can say that from where I sit, the Andrew Holness-led administration in no way, shape or form, condone corruption in any quarter, whether it is the so-called big fish or small fry. Those of you who have listened carefully to my public utterances will note that I constantly beseech the justices of the peace and other stakeholders in the justice system to do the right thing, to stand up against corruption, to be the vanguard of integrity, to resist all temptations to accept or give bribes, to act steadfastly in the interests of the Jamaican people. Funded by a serious organized crime and anti-corruption program, the agreement is valued at one million pounds. But if you want proof that this effort is paying off, just no, look no further than the case that has been conducted successfully in Manchester Municipal Corporation, when a massive fraud of $400 million was unearthed and the wheels of justice have been seen to work right to the end. And the speed at which it worked is a credit to everybody who was involved and is proof to us that our partnership is working. And this is, as I said, part of a holistic approach and our total commitment, and you can measure it in many different ways, but uh, I can put a figure on it, of uh, just over 17 million pounds worth of investment in MOCA, in Indicom, in FID, and, and all of the other agencies, and this will continue. This is the second such MOU to be signed. The first, valued at $51 million, was signed in March 2019. It provided for a review of the governance of the clerks of courts with a view to placing them under the supervision of the Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP's office. Without a doubt, the building of capacity is an ongoing process. Prosecutors come and they go. I would say 95% of them are always committed to the system, but in order for them to continue to operate at the highest level, you have to continue to build capacity at every level. The commitment is there, both at the lower level in the parish courts and certainly at the office of the DPP, but you cannot beat ongoing training. And certainly, in fact, as I speak at my office now, in terms of doing our own thing, we're having a series of web a webinar with different subjects that allows us to continue our legal education. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Jada Walker.